This is Britain's most powerfulest engine, built by the London Midland and Scottish Railway to haul in the heavy Scots train between Euston and Glasgow. Sir William Stanier designed many new steam locomotives for the London, Midland and Scottish Railways in the 1930s, such as the successful Black Fives built to tackle a locomotive shortage and the ATFs intended for the heaviest of freight trains and used worldwide during the war. However, the most glamorous of all his designs must have been his high-speed express locomotives such as the Princess Royals, the Jubilees and of course his streamlined Princess Coronation class or as they were called by rail enthusiasts, Duchesses. There had been express engines designed for the LMS before Stanier became chief mechanical engineer in 1932. Henry Fowler had designed the Royal Scots, introduced in 1927, 70 of which were built for the namesake express train that rivalled LNER's Flying Scotsman. In 1933, two of these, the forerunner number 6100 and the younger member number 6152, swapped identities permanently as one 6152 was sent on tour to North America at the time. Fowler also designed the smaller class 6P Patriot 460, introduced in 1930. 52 of this type were built. The P stood for passenger. These engines ran alongside the elder LNWR Midland Railway and Caledonian Railway locomotives, which were being phased out of service during this period. The Royal Scots and the Patriots originally looked similar to traditional Midland locomotives until they were rebuilt during nationalisation with Stania boilers and different smoke deflectors. In 1933, Stanier introduced a more powerful locomotive, the Class 8P Princess Royal 462, similar to the Gresley A3 Pacific, of which Flying Scotsman was one. They were the largest LMS locomotives of their day, and despite breaking no speed records, they could cope with the steep gradients of Shap and Beetock without the use of a banker. The second locomotive, number 6201, now preserved, was named Princess Elizabeth, who is now, of course, our Queen. Hence their nickname, Lizzie's. The following year, 
saw the introduction of the Jubilees, much smaller engines based on Fowler's Patriot. named in honour of the Monarch Jubilee to be celebrated the following year. They hauled express trains on the Midland Main Line out of St Pancras to Leeds and over the Settle to Carlisle Line and to Glasgow, as well as a cross-country route from York to Bristol. They were built with Stanier's GWR style tapered boilers. They do look similar to his later Black Fives but had larger wheels. They bore the names of patriotic warships, colonies and admirals and their successful design led to 191 being built between 1934 and 1936. In 1935, an experimental steam turbine locomotive, also known as the Turbomotive, was introduced. It was rebuilt in 1952 as an Orthodox Princess Royal express locomotive and named Princess Anne. And only two months into service, it was destroyed in the infamous Harrow and Wheelston train accident of the 8th of October and was scrapped as a result. <laughs> 